Hey, boys and girls. We are going to talk about the vocabulary words for week three. The first word is cautiously. Look at that boy and look how he's walking on that fallen tree. Um, is he walking quickly? Does it look like he's paying attention to his feet? He is walking cautiously. That means that he is taking his time, making sure that he's placing his feet where they need to be placed so that he doesn't fall. When you do something cautiously, you do it very carefully. Joe cautiously walked on the log to get to the other side of the stream. Try using cautiously in your own sentence. With a partner, think about things that you might want to do cautiously. How do you do something cautiously? What would the effect be if you were not cautious enough? The next word is trickle. Look at the water as it's coming down these rocks. It is trickling down the side of the rocks. To trickle means a small amount of slowly flowing water. You may even sometimes turn your sink faucet to down, down to just a trickle. That means it's barely running. During the summer when there is not much rain, a large waterfall can slow to a trickle. Use the word trickle in your own sentence. Think about a time you've seen a trickle of something. What does a trickle sound like? What does a trickle look like? Oh, wow. The next word is marveled. I bet you have marveled at a rainbow before. Doesn't that look beautiful? When I see a rainbow, I'm, I definitely marvel at it. That means I'm caught by surprise and it's simply beautiful. If you marveled at something, you felt surprised or amazed by it. We marveled at the beauty of the huge rainbow that appeared after the thunderstorm. Try using marveled in your own sentence. What were you marveled by and what words could you use to describe it? Compare things that you have marveled at with things that were unimpressive. How were they alike and different? <laughs> mighty. That lion has a mighty roar. Mighty is strong and powerful. When we were at the zoo last week, I heard the lion give a loud and mighty roar. Use the word mighty in your own sentence. What features do these mighty people or things have in common? Think about people or things that you know of that are mighty. How are they different? Would you consider yourself to be mighty? Why or why not? The next word is distant. Have you ever seen dolphins out in the distance if you were at the beach or on a boat? Distant is far away. As Malik stared towards the distant ocean, he was surprised by the sight of a group of dolphins jumping high into the air. Use distant in your own sentence. Think about the word distant. How would you describe the difference between how something looks when it is distant compared with up close? Explain how you might make something distant appear closer. The next word is proclaimed. It's hard to tell from this picture exactly what proclaimed might mean. Let's scroll down. If you proclaimed something, you said it in a strong way to show it was important for others to hear. In the middle of dinner, Matthew proclaimed the good news that he had won the fourth grade spelling bee. Use, word, use the word proclaimed in your own sentence. Think about different times when you proclaim something to your family or friends. In what ways have you proclaimed your news? 
Which way do you think was most effective? Why? Oh, wow. The next word is majestic. Not majestic. Majestic. <laughs> majestic. The mountains there are majestic. Something that is majestic is impressive and beautiful. The hikers were amazed by the beauty of the majestic mountains. So, if we think about marveled and majestic, you know, marveled was something that you felt amazed or surprised by. And then majestic is impressive and beautiful. So, you may marvel at the, at the majesty of the mountains because they are so majestic. Why do you think this place is majestic? How would it differ from, from a place that is not majestic? Woo! Look at that ritzy place. Sumptuous. This word is sumptuous. So by looking at these gold statues, the massiveness of this building, all the water fountains, and um, what do you think sumptuous might mean? Sumptuous is impressive and expensive looking. Royalty will often live in large and sumptuous palaces that are filled with beautiful furnishings. Try to use the word sumptuous in your own words. With a partner, think of some things that you consider sumptuous. How would your life be different if you lived among sumptuous surroundings? Would you like to live a sumptuous lifestyle? Why or why not? And the last word for this week is hoard. You might have seen a show called Hoarders. This is hoard. You might hoard this if you found it. A group of valuable things that is usually kept secret and carefully guarded by someone. My favorite book is about a dragon who guards a hoard of golden coins and jewels. Use the word hoard in your own sentence. Think about something you have or would like to have a hoard of. Why do you consider this hoard to be valuable? Who would you be willing to share your hoard with and why? Okay, boys and girls, those are the li those are, that's the last word. And those are the words for this week. Remember that they'll be on Quizlet for you to study and that you'll have a test at the end of the week.